Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and as you guys know, Competitive 6v6 Elimination was the newest competitive game mode added into Overwatch. We had a competitive Lucio Ball and also competitive Capture the Flag, two totally different competitive modes, but overall I feel like both were kind of successful. But the difference between Competitive 6v6 and these were like they were they were tied to the event, whereas this one was just kind of randomly added. I found it very weird how it came out a week later, but it's not tied to the event because as you guys know, this will be ending along with Season 9 around May 8th, May 7th. To uh, depending on where you live in the world. Now, for this video, I did want to talk about competitive 6v6 a little bit more. Not really give tips because, well, first of all, I made a video talking about that, uh, but I did want to talk about will this be the brand new competitive mode that we see permanently added into Overwatch? Now, again, Scott Mercy and the Overwatch team did say that this will be ending and won't be quote unquote coming back. I'm just kind of getting that from the little update that he gave us. But we've seen it before where they said, yeah, uh, Capture the Flag won't be coming back. And then after the Chinese event of 20. 17, it came back. So the Overwatch team is able to just do anything that they want. And this is one thing that maybe this could be added into the regular competitive roster because I've been pleading and I've been asking for just something brand new and competitive, whether it's just a brand new game mode or just that's basically it because that's all you can really do because you gotta think we've been playing the exact same competitive mode ever since season one dropped we've been playing 2cp we've been playing control maps and we've been playing escort maps and also hybrid only four different maps and i've been saying countless times add competitive C uh, ctf add competitive lose your ball or just add something into the competitive playlist now again i don't speak for the whole entire community and would it work out Maybe not competitive Lucio Ball, maybe, frankly, not even competitive CTF. But we're talking about the subject of competitive 66 elimination because, well, again, this is the newest edition, and it's plausible for it to be added into the regular rotation. And it also seems just kind of weird that they would just add a new competitive playlist that has nothing to do with the event and that's not tied with the event. So that's why it's making me believe and speculate that out of any kind of new competitive playlist, this would be it. This would be the thing that would be added into the rotation. But with every single edition and every single idea, there's always going to be pros and cons to it. And I definitely want to hear your thoughts on what you want. But in terms of like the pros of adding competitive 6v6 into the ro regular rotation, well, like I said, we've been playing the exact same four playlists that we kind of know and expect what to do. Whereas if we add competitive 6v6 elimination, that same seriousness tone and that same like, okay, we got to win would still be there. Because as it stands right now, they're separated. So when people are done being salty and done being and regular competitive, they still want to play a little bit competitive, so they play competitive 6v6, but it's not taken as serious. And I'm not trying to say, oh, you need to take competitive 6v6 a little bit serious, but it'd be nice if we constantly didn't get Hanzo, Widow, and Ana. It's just a bunch of snipers trying to make montages, right? I I'm complaining, I'm being annoyed right now, but that's what the pro is here, is that it just add a little bit more variation, and people would just kind of take competitive 6v6 a little bit more serious, because now the SR is mixed in with their regular regular SR. But that can also be a con because not a lot of people know how to play competitive 6v6 and they want their SR separated. They don't want people who don't know how to play this style of game mode to be in their games. Now again, there is a formula and there are strategies to win competitive 6v6 a little bit better, but more people aren't going to know how to play competitive 66 and know that strategy when compared to just regular competitive as it is right now. So that's like the biggest con that I feel like would come to adding a new like game mode in the competitive playlist is that people are going to have to adapt and people are going to get even more frustrated and not want to play competitive where they could have just left it alone and just kept the same four game modes that we've been playing ever since season one. And those are just some of the major pros and cons that I see adding this type of playlist into the regular competitive mode. Like I said, it just seems very weird that they were just at it right now without maybe testing the waters and seeing, all right, uh, season 10 is about to commence. Should we add anything to it? Because, you know, we've been adding maps and heroes, just not different playlists. And I, I don't know, like, it's just based on the person. Would they really like a different variety of, play, of game modes and playlists in the competitive scene where people don't know how to adapt or people don't know how to play it? Or would they just like to leave it be left alone? Because whenever a new map is added into the competitive rotation, say Blizzard World or Junker Town, there are going to be people that don't know how to play that map. Now imagine a whole new playlist, a whole new game type being added where a majority of people are just kind of running around, don't know what they're doing, and it's not a matter of who's the better team, it's a matter of, well, who kind of sucks the least at this new game mode. So, again, I just wanted to make this discussion video and just talking about it because... I don't know, to me, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind it because at least I know how to play it. I think y'all know how to play it, but it'd just be changing 
something that isn't really broken when there's other broken parts of competitive that needs to be fixed. And those are just my thoughts. It would add variety, but it also add this sense of like chaos and hecticness that maybe is, isn't really needed. And we can continue just to play the four game types that we come to know and love. But I do want to hear guys' thoughts. So I'm very excited to see what season 10 has in store for us. And I'm just excited just to see what year three is going to come. I mean, the Overwatch League is popping. Maybe we'll get some more events. Maybe they'll focus more on the community side rather than just the Overwatch League side in year three. We'll just have to see. So I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching more of our videos to come and bye.